All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a discrete seek bar. And essentially all that means is that there are actually increment values. So it goes one to 10 or one to 100, but it is very uh, defined, let's say. So essentially, as you can see here, it shows that you can select a value. There is a uh, message before you select the value and there's a message during you're selecting the value. And uh, yeah, that's actually all there is. So let's go straight to our main activity, XML file and change this text view. Let's just get rid of that text and change it to a seek bar. And under we'll give it an ID of SB underscore seek bar. We're gonna add a style to it, which is gonna be the style of the discrete seek bar. And we're gonna give a width of 250 DP with a max of 10 and a progress at five. So the seek bar will start at five. Then we're gonna give the constraint layout an ID of layout underscore wrapper. I'll show you what we're gonna do with this later. But uh, let's get started by writing this layout wrapper in there and setting an on click listener for it. And inside here, we're just going to increment the SP underscore seek bar dot progress by one each time we click on it. And after that, we can go straight to our seek bar and type in SP underscore seek bar, which is a noble type and set on seek bar change listener, add an object of seek bar on seek bar change listener and implement the methods. Then on progress change, we're gonna write a toast, which is gonna be of application context and it's gonna write progress, dollar sign progress. And finally, we're gonna create a new line and write from user and dollar sign from user. And then we're gonna go and copy and paste that in our on start tracking touch and write drag and pick a value and on stop tracking touch where we're gonna write the selected value from the seek bar. And essentially just to explain real quick what the from user means. From user means that if the user actually touches the seek bar, it will be true. Otherwise, if you click on it programmatically, it will be false. So it's just a way to verify that the user is touching it and not some other program. As you can see there, it says from user is true, the progress to one, and we can, it selects the, the value as well. But if I click on the layout, it will say from user is false because I'm not directly interacting with the progress bar or the direct, the discrete seek bar. But yeah, it was simple as that. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.